Where are you gonna see a woman in bikini between cows? Vera is already there, enjoying the views. While camping, while camp in uh, Italy and in Sardinia is prohibited. I'm Vera. And this is Aldo. Yeah! And this is our tiny home on wheels, Toto. We have been driving around the world for the past four years, visiting over 50 countries on five continents. Witnessing with our own eyes how beautiful, but at the same time how fragile our world is. Click on the subscribe button and join our adventure. This area has got several points of interest. One of it, it's some natural poles where we're going now. Wow, that's nice. This is uh, one of the points of interest in the area. Some natural poles, not really well known. So I'm glad that uh, we're alone, gonna enjoy them. For a bonus, a little bit of wild rosemary. That's good for potatoes, eh, amore? Yeah, potatoes and all kind of veggies in the oven. Very good. But we don't have the oven. Well, we do. We do. We do. We do. We do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little foldable, but it works. And I think we just arrived to the best, the nicest section here. Vera is there already. She's always the first to complete the trek. Beautiful. We're gonna leave now our Toto in the shade, overlooking the sea, while we're gonna go and take another beautiful trek. We're in the good mood after the pools. So, let's go. Ooh. Bellissimo. Wow. Here we are, we just arrived, this beautiful rock formation, it's like a, an arch. Vera is already there, enjoying the views, quite high up here, beautiful eh, Amore? Beautiful, high and steep. Not for the faint hearted. But it's really worth it. Oh yeah, it was worth it. Such a beautiful view. You are my beautiful view. <laughs> This morning, where we woke up, surrounded by cows. Mm. 
Where are you gonna see a woman in bikini between cows? <laughs> Farmer's calendar. <laughs> The weather has turned for the bad, there is some really rough sea out there, big waves and we've noticed that the seawater is coming inside in the only passage that uh, where we are able to get out of the camping spot where we were. Look at that, you see all in here, it's all filling up with seawater and that's not good, not just for the salt and the vehicle but also because uh, the terrain will become like muddy and soft and we may not be able to get out of there. The weather is getting worse, so we decided to leave our camp spot and go somewhere else. That's good luck, because we realized what was happening. So it's always important to check your surroundings, especially if you are far away camping, a little bit out of your way out of there. Another beautiful day here today, near uh, Baunei. We are uh, just below overlooking the Monte Oro. One side we can uh, look at the sea, on the other side all the landscape. With a little short trek up there, we have a 360 degrees view. It's really fantastic up here. We can hear all the goats and the sheep going up and down the mountain in the morning. It's really beautiful. There are uh, several trails and uh, we've seen a few mountain bikes going down from up here and uh, people going up there to the Monte Oro, I guess, for the views. Mm. Uh, they also do uh, climbing. We haven't seen anyone so far because it's during the week, but uh, we know that this is a nice spot for climbing. We'd like to mention something very important. Wild camp, wild camping in Italy, in Sardinia, is prohibited. You may see us waking up in these beautiful wild places and so on, but actually we have an authorization to be here. And police, rangers, they do come at night and they do checks. This is what happened to us the other night. We gave the names, we explained the circumstances and all was fine. Anyone can come and enjoy these beautiful places during the day. 
obviously the nature, don't litter, don't light fires and so on. But when sunset comes, it's important to leave and go to like a parking uh, area for campers, campsites and so on. So you're gonna cook. I'm going then. In a little bit, we are gonna leave this uh, beautiful place that gave us so many memories to take with us. We organized uh, a little uh, date night where I was cooking some pasta. With mushrooms and gorgonzola. We are gonna go and eat it in, uh, in a nice place. You may think nicer than this. Well, we're gonna show you in a bit. So that's our date night. <laughs> we got the pasta here. These are the moments that make our minimalistic lifestyle so special. We create those moments. It's living together with the nature, but still respecting it and be able to see all of this around. A very good childhood friend of mine gave us these two bottles of Prosecco some time ago when we met him before leaving, wishing us a safe trip. And he said, when you're in a nice place, open them up and think of me. Oh, chin chin. chin, chin. Because there are people, dirty, that leave trash behind. Look at that. What's the point? Just put it in a pocket, take it with you. That's disgusting. What's that? Merda. Qua in questo posto, incredibile, siamo sperduti, proprio lontani, per venire qua è stato difficile. Vetro, plastic, una maglietta abbandonata. 5 minuti e sono andato a fare un getto là sopra. Che schifo, pure qua sopra. 